Hello K-Freaks, my name is Ara and welcome to my channel. Today I'll show you how to make the Agabong, which is God 7s official light stick. This is the most difficult one that I made so far, and I must admit that I don't like the results. Anyways, I wanted to share it with you in case you wanted to see it or you have another ideas. Also, if you are new to my channel, we have made 4 different light sticks already that will be appearing in the upper part during the video. And also, don't forget to comment down below which light stick do you want me to do next. Remember that I always do the most voted one. Also, I had some problems with the camera while I was filming this video, so I have some parts missing. If you have any doubts, just comment down below. Now, let's go with the video. We're gonna need a flashlight. I'm combining three different kinds of glue, but you don't have to. I'm using hot silicon, super glue, and white glue. An acetate sheet, some green tissue paper, The template that I'll be leaving in the description box, I handmade it so maybe you have to play with it a little bit so everything fits together. And the most important, two empty bottles, clear bottles. One of them has to have this U shape kind of, that will be this bottom part and the other one has to have like this S or I don't know, this curve that will be look like the top part of the green bird. Some white foam. And this is optional but I also use it some air dry clay. So starting with the air dry clay, I started to shape the flashlight in the hand shape of the light stick. The hand shape of the light stick is very smooth and has a very particular shape. It's very wide from the bottom and the top part and then it's thinner in the middle. So here I trying to make disappear any textures that my flashlight has and also I'm adding more clay on the bottom part to make it wider, smoothing everything. You can also help yourself with some water to make it even and smoother and don't forget also to add more clay on the top part. This is something that you can skip actually, but personally I really really liked it. And once you are done, leave it to dry for more than 24 hours. Now taking our acetate sheet, we will brush a thin layer of white glue. Don't put too much, it's very important. And then I'm placing the tissue paper carefully. Be very careful because the tissue paper breaks easily, very easily. So try to not to have any wrinkles and leave it to dry for some hours. Now moving to the main part and the most difficult one. So, you have to start by having the shape of the top part of the light stick. I just trace it from the screen of my laptop. So, you have to start taking the bottle with the U shape and placing it on top of your template. And then, with a marker that you can erase later, you will just mark where you have to cut. Actually, here I was wrong because I had to cut it like I'm cutting right now. like more down because this is the bottom part so you only have to take the bottom shape don't forget to bend the two corners that makes it look more like a green bird or something like this always keep comparing it to the bottom part like the shape that you have on the paper just to make sure that everything fits well and I had the horrible idea of heating a little bit the plastic because I thought that I can bend it like this but no don't do it because the plastic only shrinks and gets wrinkles, so no, don't do it. And once we are done with the bottom part, it's time to start with the top part. We have to do exactly the same and be very careful while cutting like the bottles because they are a little bit uh, too thick, so you may hurt yourself. Moving to the template, the parts that has a straight line, a straight black line, is the parts where you have to cut. And the part that has the dotted lines are where you have to bend only. And I really recommend you that before cutting the shape in the acetate sheet that you build the template just to make sure that it fits well on your bottle. In my case, it wasn't fitting so I had to resize it in a Word document and reprint it but unluckily I didn't have enough ink so I had to draw it like by hand as you can see right now. Here I'm just adding a few parts that will help me later to arrange the shape together. So, as I lost the footage of how I built this part, 
what I will do is that in the template I will include some numbers where you will have which parts you have to glue together. While you're arranging the piece together, if there is any parts that doesn't fit very well, you always can cut and resize it. Don't be worried about that. And also, I used super glue to arrange the piece together. That's because I don't have the footage, so I'll tell you. Now it's time to cut it and actually I did exactly the same that I did with the carrot bong. You have to place the template against the acetate sheet and then outline it with a pencil carefully. Then it's time to cut it carefully with an exacto knife and the help of a ruler. And once you have the shape it's time to bend it as the template says. Be very careful because you can break the acetate sheet and ruin it all. And again I did the same thing, I cut it only the GOT7 logo and I used some tracing paper but you can use any method that you want. So I put it the logo against, this time I used a white cardboard and then I outlined it like all the shape. And once I had it, I cut it, it very, very carefully. I really recommend you to use an exacto with the God 7s logo because it has the stars and some very small details. And then once I had it, I just glued it in place. I also decided to glue a small circle of the green acetate to the flashlight just to make sure that the light will be enough green. And I used super glue for it. And as you can see here, I have my piece all done. This is how it should look like. Now it's time to make sure that everything fits well together and then start gluing. For the bottom part of the bird shape, I decided to use hot silicone. I just put it some on the base part where I'll be putting like the green shape so it will not show the glue. Anyways, the foam will hide a bit of the bottom part so don't worry very much about the glue. And then I added some more glue to glue the green part, the green shape. Just hold it in place until you are sure that everything is well glued. And here it comes, the hardest part, the part that I hated, is to glue the top shape of the bird. So I decided first to attach it with some tape, just to make sure that the two pieces fit well together before start gluing. And I used super glue to glue like this, just between the two pieces and then hold it for a, a year almost because it wasn't drying at all. And then I just waited. It's it's very tedious. I have to admit, this part was awful. I recommend you to leave just a little space where they, the two pieces can meet together so it will be easier for you to glue them together. And I did the same thing with the whole shape. So I used a straightener but you can use an iron and I used it to heat up a little bit the foam and then hold it against the hand part of the light stick. If you saw the carrot bong video, you may know already that if you heat the foam and then you put it against something, it holds the shape. Just like this. So now it's time to glue it, first the center and then the sides. Remember that you can always reheat the foam and reshape it in case you need it. And now, last but not least, I'm just making the silver line with a marker, but you can do it with another kind of paper or with another piece of foam, as you like. And that's it for today's video, I hope that you liked it. Personally, I think it's not that good, let me know in the comments down below what you think about this. Remember also to comment which light stick you wanna see next. Also, if you make any of this, I'd love to see a picture on any of my social media. And thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Annyeong!